what is going on guys and welcome to HTML tutorial in brackets in this video we're going to cover two more lists and that would be a nested and definition list and all the nested lists would mean that let's say that over here I have an order list right here and if I would want add like let's say kind of some some type of numbers to, let's say over here in Bobby all I would have to do is actually create over here a order list right so I have here Bobby and what I would do right now is I would create actually order list so I, I do the same thing I create create list items so let's say the first one would be I would say that I don't know has a bag right then I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna write over here uh, loves math right and then let's say the third one is gonna be I'm gonna say well hates music so you can see how easy it is I can just basically pick whatever item I would want to add let's say on our list to my numbers and it could be a recipe it could be an instruction book it could be anything right and all I would have to do is within uh, this L list item that I would want to add a unordered list I would just create an order list right here right so I would just nested in the list item element so when there's one more list that I would want to show you and it's actually called definition list and the element would be DL over here and then let's say and then we're gonna have to write the element DT which stands for and then we would have to create a and then we would have to create an element DT and then we would have to create an element DT which stands for definition term so let's say over here again I'm gonna write Bobby and right underneath I'm going to create a another element and this one is going to be DD and DD stands for actual data right and DD would stand for definition right so I have over here Bobby and I would say again that Bobby has a backpack and he loves math and hates I don't know video games very unrealistic but let's say video games so now you can see the what definition list would do basically first we would have to display the uh, definition list element and then we have the definition term and actual definition and of course I could just go over here and copy this and again create as many as I would want the definition terms right so I would have to actually copy this one over here and let's say we're gonna paste it right so then instead of Bobby I could write over here Susie and let's say that she actually loves music so we can write loves music hates boys right something like that so you get an idea how we can create an actual definition list uh, this is going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.